Welcome back to World Drum Club, you guys. Why am I playing this drum with a stick in a plastic bag? Because I found this, I found this in my instrument stash. This is actually a Kalani Dune Dune stick, new in the package. So this is gonna be an unboxing video. <laughs> it's gonna be an unwrapping video and how to play the Dune Dune. So the subject of this lesson is the Dune Dune drum. And if you guys are not familiar with it, when you may be familiar with these types of drums, but you may not know the name, or you may think they have a different name. So let me start back at the beginning. This drum is a West African bass drum. It's played in the music of the Susu Malinke people from West Africa, named most notably the countries of South Western Mali and Guinea, uh, a little bit in Senegal, used in that area where it's played with the djembe. So many of you know what the djembe drum is. You may not know that the dundun actually is the main drum. Uh, well, it's it's an ensemble, but the dunduns provide the, the rhythm section of the band. Djembes are more like the rhythm guitar or the vamping on the keyboards of the band. Djembes are like the drums and bass of the band. They provide the groove, the identity, the main identity of the rhythm and there's a set of three usually. It can be one, can be up to five. It just depends on the particular uh, region, the music, you know, etc. So it depends on a lot of things. But typically, we're now at a point uh, where we identify three main sizes of Dune Dune. Now, I'm not going to get so much into that. If you want to look them up, the sizes are Kinkini, Sangban, and Dune Dune Ba, uh, small to large. They are graduated sets, so they have been to school. They did get their diplomas. Um, this drum is a sangban size, but again, it, it depends on the set. You might have a small set or a large set. So the, there is no one set size for Kinkani Sangban Dunumba. But I wanted to show you this drum. This is a beautiful drum from Guinea, West Africa. It's got carving and painting. And as you can see, it is rather gorgeous. So we've got some symbols on here, uh, beautiful colors. We've also got two heads. So what makes a dune dune drum a dune dune? Well, it's carved out from a single log. It's made of wood. It's got cow skin. It maybe could be made with really thick goat skin, but usually we use cow skin. Fur is left on and you've got the rope tuning similar to the djembe. So you can play either side of the dune dune, but we usually only play one side at a time. They can be played across the lap, um, either in a stand or we don't usually hold them in our lap, but it, it would usually be on a stand, possibly with a bell, which is also called a kenken, uh, played sideways, or it can be slung over the shoulder in another style, usually from Mali, called griot or jelly style. There's different ways to play the dun dun, but for our purposes, since this is just an introduction, we're going to place it flat down on the floor, so it's similar to a bass drum, like a, a floor tom, or a Brazilian bass drum called a surdu. And we're gonna play it with a wooden stick. So I'm gonna unwrap this right now. This is, you can't get these anymore. This is discontinued, but I'm gonna open this up for you guys because you are so awesome. Here it is, brand new. Oh, new stick smell. All right, so uh, here's the Dune Dune stick. This one, I, I thought this was a great feature. It has a little, beveled cut out here to, so you can grip it and uh, it won't go flying across the room. But no, usually you don't have a problem with that. But a dun dun stick is going to be a larger wooden stick like this. Um, they can be bigger or smaller. For this size drum, this is kind of a big stick, but uh, here we go. And I see that, oh, this head on this side has a little puncture in it. Still sounds fine. I'm going to flip it over because I don't want to make it worse. Um, but that's Kind of awesome, like you can still play the drum even though it might have a tear in it. So uh, find the side of your drum that is the best side. This side is awesome sounding. That's what a dun dun should sound like. It should sound kind of uh, full, but short, not ringy, should not have a lot of aftertone. It uh, really, I'm not a fan of the synthetic heads on dun duns. Um, unless they happen to have a lot of kind of rubberized material in them. Some of those sound good, but the sound should be short. Why? 
because it's providing a beat and a foundation. So you don't want a rumbling effect in the low end of an ensemble. You want those notes to be punchy, but pretty short and pretty dry, not a lot of after ring. And the fur on the head is the perfect uh, dampener for the drum head. So I really recommend having a wooden drum with natural heads, just like all the professional drumming groups use today. Uh, all the groups from West Africa use, the, use drums like this. So we're gonna take our stick, hold it like this with a comfortable grip. Finger does not go on the top. Uh, we're just gonna hold it like this with a percussive stroke. And I use a combination of wrist and also a turning motion, like a doorknob motion. So I'm kind of holding the stick almost at a 45 degree angle to my arm. So you can start off here, just striking near the center of the drum. We never wanna strike a drum right in the middle unless we do, <laughs> but to get the best sound out of the drum, usually you strike slightly off center, which is what most of us are gonna do anyway. So, but don't aim right for the center. So this is our dun dun stroke. And like many instruments, we're going to have a second stroke or second sound. That's gonna be our muted sound or our press sound. So for that, I give you guys permission to overlap your index finger a little bit on the stick and touch the head with a minimal amount of vibration, just a touch. So this could be notated as a press or a touch. This would be your open and this would be your touch or closed stroke. I don't care what you guys call it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So you'll see different teachers calling it different things. You might see notation differently. Usually you would see this maybe with a circle in notation and this maybe with an X. You might see something else as well. Okay, so that's really it, playing Dune Dune. You can go look up rhythms, play them on the Dune Dune. I wanted to give you guys a nice solid foundation, which is what this drum is all about. Um, remember, the Dune Dune are the core of the West African um, drumming ensemble that includes the djembes, also includes shakers like uh, kasink, um, the seke seke, the shaker, the krin, the log drum, the um, balafone, other instruments like the flute, and of course singing and dancing. Okay, if you have any questions about this, you can always contact me. You guys know how to reach me. Thanks for being a supporter of World Drum Club. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you're not already, yes, I'm gonna say it again. Go to patreon.com slash Kalani and become a supporting member for as little as a buck a lesson. We appreciate that very much. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you in a future video.